Okay, well, um, thank you very much, Derek, and <clears throat> excuse me. Thank you very much for everybody um, staying around until until this very quick talk. Um, I know that I'm uh, between you and your and your refreshments, so I'm going to be really quick. So I'd like to speak to you very briefly about the uh, New Radio VX Group, uh, who we are, and what we can do for you. Um, so, firstly, a quick um, introduction to myself. Uh, I'm Bernie, I'm uh, a user centered designer, um, licensed PAM operator, um, X Telecoms engineer, um, a canoe radio companion, newbie user, um, and an open source contributor. Um, how have I found myself here? Well, earlier uh, this year at FOSTEM 2021, uh, Derek uh, came to our um, open source design um, track and put a call out looking for UX designer uh, contributions to uh, to Canoe Radio Companion. Um, as somebody with an interest um, in radio and uh, an ex uh, career, I was really interested. Um, I'd used Canoe Radio and Companion before, but um, I thought it was for beyond my level of understanding. Um, so I contacted Derek and said I was interested uh, in contributing, and um, that's that's how I found myself here. So UX, user experience, that's all about logos and making things look nice, right? Um, well, uh, user design is much more than just logos. It is about um, understanding what the user of the piece of software needs to do, um, understanding the tasks they need to do, um, and understanding the context of use. So, UX is um, from uh, from the bottom up here, it's exploring and understanding the user's needs, uh, the problems, the context, the functional specifications, understanding what the software needs to do for this user um, or these users, um, deciding on the structure and the behavior of the software, uh, then um, deciding and designing how the software looks, um, and then Finally, on the very top, logos, uh, graphic design. Um, this is the bit that interests me. This is the bit that I'm uh, reasonably good at. Um, I'm interested in understanding how the software works for the user, what they need to do with it, um, and then actually creating um, designs uh, to make that software work for the user. What can the UX group do for you? Well, we can help um, maintainers and developers learn about their users. I can tell you not everybody is a, a DSP or an RF expert. Um, designing UI for some new um, GRC functionality um, that you want to implement, and actually um, carrying out some usability testing um, of that functionality. It doesn't have to be fully functioning um, working software, non-functional prototypes um, work really well when we're trying to validate designs. And then helping um, maintainers, developers, and users um, identify areas of GRC that cause uh, usability issues for, for users. Again, focusing on people that are not uh, GNU Radio experts. Um, this isn't about simplifying or dumbing down um, um, GRC. This is about um, communicating to the user what it is they have to do, maybe why they have to do it. This is about educating and about helping the user learn about new radio. So some of our contributions so far. Um, first of all, we created the um, the GX. Uh, sorry, uh, the GR um, uh, UX studies group. So far, we've got about 30 or 40 people who have signed up um, to be involved in our UX studies. This is anything from doing a short interview, understanding a little bit about their background, understanding how they use um, GRC, what they use it for, 
um, straight through to doing some some designs and some um, validating those designs with users. Um, with Derek, um, I created some uh, some PR and some feature requests um, and bug report templates um, for the main and um, new radio uh, repo. Why is this important? Well, it, it's helpful to try and create some templates for people so that they know what what maintainers and what developers are looking to to, to get from them um, when they're reporting a bug or when they're reporting uh, a feature request. Um, I did a really um, a quick uh, GRC iconography um, review. Essentially, from each of these um, icons in GRC means to a new user, um, but quite a lot of them are really confusing, um, even to um, established and experienced um, GRC users. Um, also, the final thing then um, so far was exploring possible ways to improve um, the create new flow graph UI uh, in, in GRC. So I did um, a really basic prototype, um, non-functional prototype design, and then um, did some usability tests with, uh, with users of different levels of experience. So if my technology works, uh, I should be able to show you just a really quick um, animation of the of the design. This is going to take longer than I. This is going to take longer than I'd hoped. Essentially, um, what this should show is, um, as I said, some some non-functional um, um, design prototypes, which I tested with um, five users, varying degrees of or varying levels of expertise. Um, trying to improve the situation of having to, first of all, uh, save the GRC before you can then run it. Um, this is a, a usability issue that, that trips up a lot of new users. And essentially, the idea of the design was to create um, a, temporary, <clears throat> a temporary GRC file that would allow the user to basically bootstrap the, um, um, the execution of the GRC. And then if they wanted to keep it, they could then save it um, to, their, um, to their directory um, of, of GRC files. Uh, this is taking much, much longer than I'd hoped. So I'm going to skip this. Um, essentially, OK, what next? So the idea, um, first of all, is to um, iterate on this uh, GRC. Um, sorry, uh, iterate on the uh, create new GRC flow um, design, and then publish the results of the iteration of the design and the results from the usability testing um, for community feedback. Um, if anyone's got anything else that they really um, think needs some some usability improvements, uh, drop me a line, uh, Bernard at EIA.FTV, or I'm Bernat, B-E-R-N-A-T, on the Canadian Radio channel um, on Matrix. And finally, um, if I can ask as many people, please sign up to the UX Studies group. Um, the more people we have, the more people we can do um, user research and UX um, studies with. Um, link at the bottom. And I think that's it. Thank you for your time, and I hope you all have a nice, enjoyable refreshment.